Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this two-part video you should be able to work out the electron configuration of ions. Ok, we're going to start by recapping what's meant by an ion. I'm showing you here an atom of the element lithium. Lithium atoms contain three protons in their nucleus. And remember that protons have got a positive charge. Lithium atoms also contain three electrons. And remember that electrons have got a negative charge. So the three negative electrons cancel out the charge on the three positive protons and the atom has got no overall charge. Now, when lithium atoms react, they lose the electron in the outer shell, and I'm showing that here. You can see that we still have three protons, but now we only have two electrons. Now the electrons and the protons no longer cancel, and we have an overall one positive charge. Because this now has an overall charge, scientists refer to this as the lithium ion. The key idea you need to get from this is that when atoms lose electrons, they form a positive ion. This shows an atom of beryllium forming the beryllium ion. When beryllium atoms react, they lose two electrons, and they form an ion with an overall two positive charge. I'm showing you here an atom of fluorine. Fluorine atoms have got nine protons and nine electrons. When a fluorine atom reacts, it gains one electron. This forms the fluoride ion with an overall one negative charge. This shows an oxygen atom. When an oxygen atom reacts, it gains two electrons. This forms the oxide ion with an overall two negative charge. So again, the key idea you need to get is that when atoms gain electrons, they form a negative ion. Coming up, we're going to see how we can write the electron configuration of ions. OK, let's look now at how to write the electron configuration of ions. This shows an atom of magnesium forming the magnesium ion Mg2+. Magnesium atoms have got 12 electrons. The electron configuration of magnesium will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. Now, we formed an ion with a charge of 2 positive. This tells us that the magnesium atom loses 2 electrons when it forms the magnesium ion. Now, when ions form, the subshell with the highest energy gains or loses electrons. In this case, the 3s subshell has the highest energy. So the two electrons are lost from there. This means that the electron configuration of the magnesium ion is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. OK, I'd like you to work out the electron configuration of the ion formed from sulphur. This has an overall charge of 2 negative. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, sulphur has 16 electrons, so its electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p4. Because the ion has a 2 negative charge, we know that the sulphur atom gained 2 electrons. This means that the electron configuration of the sulphur ion is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. In the next video, we're going to look at the electron configuration of ions for elements in the d-block.